going. Yeah, yeah. They're still not leaving. None of them are going home. Oh, oh, listen to that. Come on. The ray of sunshine. I can't be here and it's at dawn. Malcolm? Did he text you when I've. Uh... Oh, yes, he I did. did, yes. How sure are you? Well, I wouldn't say it if I wasn't sure, would I? There's strangulation marks. So, how soon can we make it official? Just as soon as that damn coroner switches on our bloody robot. Them. The Coast Guard. Skipper. That's the fellow with the stripes. He the one who found her? No, it was a bunch of lasses. They took some statements and sent them home. And it was? To sober up. Hmm. Next of kin? Saw the whole thing. I uh, saw the body. They think she fell in. Brother tried CPR, oh. cracking her ribcage. He'd have killed her if she wasn't already dead. Look, can you show a bit more compassion, please? I think it was a brother-in-law. So if anyone asks our position, it's unexplained. Unexplained it is. Apart from the obvious, that is. Are we calling her Danielle or Danny? Funny are using Danny. And that's what we'll use. Who moved her? Well, she was moved twice, dragged on board, and then some guys carried her in here. They didn't want her to get cold, apparently. The redness on the cheeks is particular hemorrhaging. The eyes will be the same. Is that a headlock? No, I doubt it. More likely to be a squeezed throat. See this here? It's about the size of a thumb. Mm. I see it all the time in domestic violence. Oh, aye. Just wanted to shut her up. There's a patch missing on the scalp, too. Hmm. 
What dragged by her hair? And no one noticed? Apparently not. What was this, a corporate? Yeah, her sister owns Varsies. Should I know it? Hair and beauty salon. There's quite a few of them. Right, so the next question is when? Say less than 11 hours. Ambulance was called at 12.06 a.m. Her sister went looking for her on the deck and she heard some lasses scream and that's when they saw the body in the water. Right, so strangled and then dropped or pushed into the water. Is that from the boat or the quay? Boat? The skipper said barely anybody had left. Right, well, we'll need to talk to anyone who did leave. Have we phoned for divers? divers. Yeah. Poor lass. Do you want us to just leave your guys to it? Oh, no, 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 not yet. Um, how do people normally end up in the river? Normally? Hmm. Falls from land. Most riverside fatalities, people mucking about on the quay. Could she have gone in elsewhere? And didn't you say they stopped off somewhere up river? Yeah, I uh, rent up to a barbecue at a hotel, the Allenburn Manor. That's what, 20 minutes? About that. I think if she went in up river, she wouldn't have been found here. Why not? It's current, rain. A small body like hers would have probably ended up in the sea. Well, if the tide was going out. Could have got dragged under in the wake. But then the propeller could have... Uh, she'd probably have more obvious injuries. Mm. Have you come across this lot before, the crew? No. No owner, man in pale blue trousers. Not been in the business long. He's uh, using a lot of the lingo. Mm. I get the impression he's... Was just covering his ignorance. Mm. Anything else? Any corners cut? Oh, refurb's fairly recent. All safety equipment's up to date. Mm -hmm. But again, there's muttering about guests sneaking on their own drink. Oh, as in all their own fault. Mm. Now, what I've seen before is crew serving after licensing hours. Sounds like horses are being covered. Get them up here, Kenny. Oh. Yeah, thanks, love. Thanks. Now, is this a list of invitees or who actually came? Who was on board? Yeah. And could anyone else have got on? No, we checked them on board. And did you check them back on board after the stop off at the barbecue? I can't see we did, no. Why do you take home addresses? Belt and braces for endurance. Hmm. What about crew? Well, it's just us and a few agency crew. When did they leave? I sent them home before it all kicked off. Yeah, well, we will need to talk to them, love. Yeah, well, the details are back at the office. Yeah, we'll make sure we get them this morning. Hmm. Uh, was she hammered, do you think? I don't know. Was she? Do you see her? Well, I saw a lot of very drunk girls. It can get a bit wild west. We try our best. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right, get Mark on that CCTV at the barbecue. I want to know exactly who came back to Quayside. Will do. Right. Now, who am I meeting? A lady with the dark hair is Sadie, victim's sister. What, the one who had the party? No, that's Lisa. Sadie didn't come. Redhead is Paula, works for Varsity's organiser do. Right, so where's this Lisa? She had to be sedated and taken home. Right. We got the victim's house keys? Sorted. Sadie, I'm DCI Vera Stanhope. I'm so sorry for your loss, pet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't believe this is happening. Come on, love. Let's get you somewhere a bit quieter. Come on. We've got a room upstairs. 36. 37 on April 30th. And she's a hairdresser. Yeah, she's a, a branch manager at Central Arcade. I can show you the guest list. 
Yes, please. You see, that is what I don't get. There were loads of people there. How did no one see her fall in? Well, we will be speaking to everyone, love. Did something go on? No, we're waiting for the post-mortem. That should clarify. That means yes, doesn't it? Something went on. Can you tell us what time he last saw your sister? After the speeches. She was um, upset because the boat had run out of booze, so we took matters into our own hands and brought some bottles on from the hotel. Right, so you took on your own booze. And we, we'd complained to the crew, but, I mean, they'd done nothing. Have you asked Niall what happened? Who's Niall? Her boyfriend. Ask him if they had a falling out. He was there, wasn't he? So why would they have had a falling out? Because he's just horrible to her. Last night, no, night before, us three went out. Danny just wasn't herself. I couldn't quite get it out of her, but I think she was trying to tell me that Niall had been bullying her. What? It was before you'd got there. So, what did she say exactly? Well, she wouldn't say it exactly. But she made a comment about manipulative blokes. Ones that wheedled their way in. You can't just assume that was Naya. No, I think it was. I think she'd finally clocked onto him. She was trying to tell me. Of course we asked about a boyfriend. No one mentioned it. OK, the sister said on and off, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, very gracious of you. Jack. They found him. He works at Sorexo Industries near Hartlepool. Right, come on, we're getting ourselves south. It's a shock. This unexplained mean that it wasn't an accident? No, it means we're looking at all angles. I wonder why she hadn't texted me. I was waiting for her to text me. We'd had a falling out on the boat. Ooh. What about? Her ignoring me. She was just focusing on her family. Do you not get on with her family? They're all right. It's just... Everyone's sucking up to Lisa all the time. It does my head in. Anyway, there was, I was sucking up with them all. Danny was leaving me on my own. So I dropped off at half-time. So what was up with them, hmm? No idea. Just never tell me. Now, what do you think it I, was? I don't know what it was. Look, she's been acting funny the last few weeks, right? It's not a laptop all the time, fobbed me off about it. Maybe that was something worse. Why didn't she got a taxi from the barbecue? Fine, I've told you. I'll check it out. They didn't have a clue who was on board. No wonder it was all a bit wild west. I won't get in. There's a team leader standing here. Megan Sabisi. We know anything about her? Uh, not yet. That's probably her. Right, have a chat with her, get a feel for the place. Where are you going? Danny's flat.
Hello? No sign of a forced entry, so it could be that we're looking for something specific. Right, I want the data off that alarm system, and I want a family member to ID what's missing. Um, timeline. Now then, the last known sightings of our victim. Uh, there's one camera on the boat, ma'am, near the bar. 23.13. And what time did they get back? They left shortly after, so they'd have been on the quayside between quarter two and midnight. And she's dead within an hour of this. Hmm. What happened on that boat? I mean, where did she go? It's not like it's the Queen Mary. We've asked people for photos taken at the disco. Mm. And what time did this Lisa start looking for her? Unclear. Uh, apparently, she's still too upset to be interviewed. Mum, sorry, do you want the guest statements or the burglary prioritised? I want them both prioritised. Uh, there was over 80 odd on the boat. Aye, and on the quayside, drunks, passers by, late night joggers, the lot. Where are we with the agency uh, crew? Oh, for crying out loud. The skipper was supposed to send us a list. Chase it up. I want to know with absolute certainty who was crewing that boat when it got to quayside. Casual workers on the waterways. It could be hard to nail down, man. Aye, well, get out your biggest hammer, Kenny. Now, Last 12 hours of her life. Uh, she went to Lisa's to get ready around five yesterday. Yeah, Mark, get up. Oh, sorry, Mum. It's the uh, vehicle sweep at the hotel. Uh, we found the cab that took the boyfriend back to his flat. Uh, left when he said he did and went to Yarm. Well, that's a long way to go in a cab, isn't it? Well, that's 20 or 30 miles. Gotta be 50 quid. Must have been desperate to get away. Can you see what's missing in this picture? Shall I explain it to you? Look, there's no foam in the nasal passages, meaning she didn't struggle for breath, meaning she was probably unconscious when she hit the water. Well, you got that in one. No. Are there any propeller injuries that weren't evident earlier? No. So didn't travel. Oh, I wouldn't listen to that marine woman. She didn't have a clue. She has a name. Yes, well, I didn't take to her myself. So, the upside is we have recovered a substantial amount of DNA material, particularly from under the fingernails. The downside is we have recovered a substantial, substantial amount of, of DNA, DNA material. material. So it's going to take us some time to describe it all. Bear with us. But like I said, definitely murder. Oh, we've got a crack on. Right. Uh, so up and break it to the family. You see, that's the bit I couldn't stomach. That's the bit I am. Um, well, I... I take my hat off to you. Door. Fifteen million for hairdressing. That's turnover, not profit. What, accounting for the tax man? Not necessarily. There's 200 odd employees. That's a lot of wages to pay. Well, that business study degree finally came in handy. They've been raking it in. There's a boom in Botox, it's there. Well, it's just what we need to reverse industrial decline. To be fair, she does a lot of work for charity. What, as in feeding the homeless? Or giving parties for her rich friends? Look, I don't begrudge anyone, not if they've grafted. Yeah, well, money won't soften the blow, will it? Nope. But I'm a good lawyer, though. You were right. Not at least. But I saw her body. She didn't... I mean, how? Did someone get on the boat? Well, it's a possibility, yes. I thought they checked people. Yeah.
Can I ask, when did you first notice she was missing? Was it when the cop called? Yeah, uh, the cop called Paula. We must have nearly got a key side. I went to find her, tried the ladies. She, she, she wasn't on the dance floor. Do you have an idea of the time? Shall I, shall I check when the cab called me? I oh, that'd be useful, love. She was supposed to sleep here. I hated going back to an empty flat after a night out. OK. Uh, it's an obvious one, this, but... Had your sister fallen out with anyone? No. She didn't have fallen out. You're not understanding what she was like? I mean, she wasn't confrontational. She's very trusting, very naive. Tell her what you told me about Niall, will you? I've told her. Come on, Lise. He's not going to hurt her. Were there any other fellas in her life? No. No, she'd never cheat. He might. I don't think he would. What? Don't like the fellow, but I don't Why think don't he... Why don't you like him? Niall's one of those who has an issue with us having a bit of cash. We get that a lot. Danny just never saw the dark side in anyone. She gave everyone the benefit of the doubt. What can we do? Do we do a press conference? What? Um, I'd, I'd leave it to us for now. Yeah, and uh, you might want to prepare yourselves. Might be a long haul. Love. Now, can you notice anything missing? Why didn't the alarm go off when they got in? Lisa just spent a fortune upgrading security. Hmm? Not just here, but at all the properties. Anything not here that should be? Um. Uh, her daytime handbag and um, a laptop, laptop. like uh, a posh one, a thin one. Right, anything else? I know you think I've been clutching at straws, but I don't trust Niall. Well, I won't judge you for speculating, love. No, you, th you see, I've been thinking and thinking, and a, and a couple of weeks ago, Danny asked me about life insurance. I was so unlike her. She never did, like, pensions or anything. So what if that came from Niall? Now, do you know this, love, or are you just inferring? I'm just trying to make sense of it. Now, why was the security upgraded? Pilfering, I think. Oh, was that a big issue in the business? There are always issues in the business. That much money, that many women. It's a nest of vapors. Right, so the alarm was turned off at 18.02, then reset at 18.18. Well, that's when she was getting ready at the sisters. Now, if that's not inside information, I'll eat my hat. Or the family, or the boyfriend. Or someone in the business. Mm. So if they can find out what she was up to online, if that's possible. And check our bank accounts. There's big money floating around, causes all types of trouble. Look, will you just give us 30 seconds? You know they found out all the clothes are collected by slave labour in these shops? Oh, well, organised crime gets its fingers everywhere, doesn't it? Even in good causes. Kenny. Uh, background checks have thrown us a bone, ma'am. Yeah, the skipper and his daughter reported a woman for harassment.
Yes? Yes? Oh, uh, we're police officers, Mrs. Anwell. Our DCI Stan Hope is dear Seely. Can we come in? Sorry, no. No, hang on, hang on. Uh, well, how about outside the house, in the open? Would that be better? Just a quick chat. Oh. Do I look like I could harass anyone? Uh, well, maybe someone's got their wires crossed, love. I mean, I confronted them, yes. Because I just wanted to get a straight answer. Answer? Because you lot did nothing. Give me a leaflet, that's about it. Uh, sorry, what should we have done? When? Arrested them. For, I don't know, accessories? They're tipping off burglars when houses are empty. Oh, right. Yes. Ask anyone at the wedding. They made sure we all safely stuck out on the water and then they had some lads do the place over. Look, I'm sorry you've been burgled, love. But... Just as well I was out. If I'd been here, it doesn't bear thinking about. Look, I know it's disconcerting and I do understand it, I do. But you know this because... Because it's obvious. Ring the other guests. They took all our names and addresses for no good reason. Now, why else would they need them? Get on to neighbourhood about patterns of burglaries, see if any bells are ringing. Do you want us to get the skipper in for an interview? Well, no, no, not yet. Let's get her into dry dock first, see what we find. So I was thinking, they pass addresses on to a third party. Danny somehow clocks that are onto it, and they find a quiet place on board to shut her up. Yeah, but is that motive, though? Hmm. I mean, a killer lasts just to protect some housebreakers. That could be linked to something bigger, organised gangs. Yeah, well, two burglaries, that could be a bit of a thread. What have you got, love? Come up, drums for you. Yeah? What, blood and confessions, then? <laughs> no, I don't like to make it too easy. I've only got underwater photos, but until we get her into dry dock, it'll have to do. Right. And where was this found? Your divers found it snagged on modifications to the hull. What do you mean? <sighs> There's four clamps on the underside. These scraps of cloth were caught on them. Matches the top she was wearing. So her clothes got caught up on one of these? Mm. What are they for? <laughs> That's the question. I've never come across it. Educated guess, I would say it would be to attach like a storage container. But it's bizarre to put it somewhere so inaccessible. Unless they're transporting something they might want to conceal. Is that my boat? Aye. The underbelly, so to speak. Now, what are these for? Hmm? Only they're not mentioned on your certification, so I'm guessing they were added in the last year. We'll keep the addresses for insurance. Honestly, ask me, Dad. Or could you have passed the information on inadvertently? To who? And someone connected to organised criminality. We don't know organised criminals. OK. Can I show you an image from under your boat? So what's your sideline, Eddie? What have you got yourself mixed up in? I never went through with it. No? Some fella approached me out the blue, offered me a good fee, so I, I got the clamps sorted out. I never saw him again. Oh, the criminal who disappears into thin air. Never come across one of them before. Check me mobile. I, I must have texted him 20-odd times. Oh, you were up for it, then? I was having a bad time. And, well, I... I wanted to get one over on the bus. I've never even seen this. There's got to be some kind of explanation. Your father admitted to being approached by someone trying to import goods illegally. Oh, God, this is going to ruin everything. Does Richard have to know about this? Only he's bailed us out enough already. Oh, he, he bought us up when we were broke. Acted like a maid, got to know the ropes, kind of, and... Well, then he took us over. We did the work, he took the profit. This is me trying to make back what's mine. 
and I, I never went through with it. Why didn't the broker see this? Well, we think these were added subsequent to you acquiring the boat. Is this Eddie? What's he been up to? What's your main line of work, Richard? I, I invest in businesses I think will make money. Mainly hospitality. Oh, so if they're on their last legs, you see an opportunity? If I think I can turn a business round, yeah. Booze cruises up the tyne seem like a no-brainer, doesn't it? Shows how much I know. I'm supposed to be sunning myself in the med right now. Can you shed any light on what happened on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, they were completely understaffed. No agency crew turned up. Are you saying it was just the skipper and his daughter? They rang me to tell me they weren't legal to sail, and, uh <laughs> I put pressure on them to go ahead anyway. I've, I've put so much money into this damn thing. I thought, if we let down vases, it, it might bury us. I put so much business my way. And you didn't think to get yourself down here to help? In the circumstances that I wish I had, yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm not qualified. Listen. I watch them. I'm embarrassed to say it because it, it's not my style. But I put an extra camera in the steering room to keep an eye. There's a surprise. Now, you didn't disclose to us that you'd spoken to her. Now, why is that? Because I barely did. She just asked me if she could speak to management. She wanted to complain. I was just trying... To cover the fact that you only had half the crew you needed to legally set sail. I'm sorry. I just knew that we had nothing to do with our fallen in, so I didn't want questions. We've been rescued from the brink. I was just looking out for me dad. Oh, don't give me that. Now, look at her, love. That's not someone concerned about a bar running dry. I don't know anything. Look at her! Hardly spoke to her, apparently. Look, I know it looks bad. She failed to mention she'd even met her. We know they're involved in criminal activity. And I could put together a picture how Danny saw something she shouldn't and paid the price, but somehow I just... I just don't think they had anything to do with this. Well, NCA have got no intelligence linking them to organised activity either. Then maybe we found it for them. It's possible, but... I spoke to Neighbourhood, and they reckon this burglary of Patricia's was opportunistic. Regulars, maybe. They just took stuff that they could grab. Whereas Danny's break-in was more targeted. Exactly. They didn't take any other stuff of value, no forensic traces, so to me, that sounds like it's professional. Ah, professional doesn't mean anything. There's burglary tutorials on the internet these days. But I'll take your point. May not be related. Different MO, different people. Oh, is there anything on that boat that links them to this murder? They are trying. Yeah? Well, let's see what they've got. They've upturned everything by taking apart the engine. <sighs> well, I just have to keep looking. How'd that get damaged? When those girls released the mooring ropes, it banged into the key. I think that's what dislodged the body from where it was caught on the clamps. So, if her body was trapped under here, could she not have gone into the water en route, like I said? It's possible. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. Right. So, we could have missed something upriver. Need a search of the embankments. Maybe the reason we're not finding evidence. I'm looking at the wrong crime scene.
Watch your order, stop what you're doing. Drop everything and make your way to the hotel lobby, please. What's going on? This is a crime scene now. You go down there. If you find anything, let me know. You guys that way. And uh, best of luck. Off you go. Go, go, go. Kenny. Keep an eye on those two. I don't want them sailing off into the sunset. Right. I need to know exactly where that boat was moored. And what about the contraband issue? Well, tip off customs. They can push him on his contacts. <sighs> well, what else can I do? Mom. A couple of clams is not evidence, Kenny. The family have done a social media appeal. You are kidding me. Someone must know the truth of what happened, my sister. Looking at the comments, I think oh, it's snowballed. Now, did they reveal anything they shouldn't have? Things only the killer might have known? I don't think so. But it has produced a witness. What, linked to the suspects? Linked to the victim. Someone who saw her the night before she died. Now, is this a real witness or a time waster? OK. Call Aidan. Tell him to meet us there. All right. Mom? You're the detectives, aren't you? Well, your picture's on the web page. She was stood out there a good 15 minutes, just staring at us. What time was this? Wait, 11-ish. We were here all night changing the display. She took a photo of outside. Have any of these shops ever been hairdressers? No, nothing that high-end. Does anyone here know her? No, I asked. No one had clapped eyes on her until then. Wouldn't have remembered if I'd not seen the appeal. Did you speak to her? No, I went outside to see if she was all right, but when she saw me coming, she just got in her car and left. Run her plates through the cameras on Gladstone Road around 11 p.m. on Friday. Yeah, 24 hours before time OK, of Jack, Should we're on our way. Look, I don't care how many brides are turning up, they're shutting the whole thing down. So her car was near here by the time the lady said. So she came here direct after having a drink with her sister and the mate. They found hairs close to where the boat was moored. It was just like down to here. Do you see Williams? Has she told us what we need to know? Yes, ma'am. Then get her off the crime scene. Well, at least we can rule her out as a suspect. What? Spy cam. Her and her dad are in the cabin for the duration of the murder. Neither get off the boat. What, not even for a few minutes? No. Let's say the barbecue's winding up. Yeah. Mm? It'll be dark. Mm -hmm. People back on board. And she comes down here. Oh, for the poor lass. Last moments of her life pegged out like dot to dot. Right, so let's say the first confrontation happens here. But most of the encounter happens here. Mm? Maybe she tried to run off and she is dragged back by her hair all the way down here. She's dragged to the water's edge where she's strangled and dropped into the water with her heart still beating. Why did no one hear her scream? Engine revving up. Some kind of noise from the boat. A disco starting up. The disco. So she's dropped off the bottles of booze and gets back off. And she's come back along here and meet her killer. Meanwhile, the gangplank's pulled up. Dropped into the river. And she gets caught on the bottom of the boat as it passes over her. What makes her get off? Boyfriend leaving at half-time. 
He would have known the alarm. Aye, he did. And he hinted at some affair, didn't he? Mm -hmm. So is that what all of this says? A couple's row that turns nasty? I mean, this... This is rage, isn't it? But dropping her in the water... That's calculated. Now, there were other ways he could have given her a smack and then walked off. But no. Whoever did this made sure the job was done. In random attack, that, that doesn't appeal. Oh, it's possible, of course. Possible a psychopath just happened to be passing by. It's public access. <sighs> ah, no, you're right. Maybe the poor lass just walked headlong into something without a clue. Mum, Kenny called. We think we found her bag. We drain this twice a year. It's a training exercise. The bag get caught in the grid. Yeah, well, I bet they thought this would never be found. Right. Laptop there. Mm. The laptop, any chance of retrieving anything? Oh, well, uh, quick blow drying, Bob, you know. Ah, shut up. I'm serious. Oh, so am I. If it was switched off when I went into the water, then we might get something. Right. And this bag is pretty stubborn. Yeah. There's me thinking design it gives a rip off. <laughs> bag it. Right, Hayden. This is en route for the boyfriend, isn't it? That cab to Yarm, you'd come right past this. Yeah, it's just his route to work. Aye. He suspects her of cheating, stole the laptop before the party, confronts her with it somehow, kills her, and then dumps it here. Why would I go to the tea's barrage? Oh, just one line of questioning. Concerns her laptop. Is this a DNA thing? My DNA will be on her laptop, definitely. No, that's not about DNA, love. Did you ever bully Danielle? No. You sure about You're saying that? I did. Do you know who did bully her? I'm even talking about bullying. Nobody bullied her. Is that a family saying this? Oh, it's just we have a witness said she felt bullied no by way. someone. Danny was near doormat. She stood up to people. You're looking at the wrong guy. Am I? Look, I'm not saying we were going to last forever, but I loved her and I didn't push her off a boat. Mom. Oh, don't tell me. None of his DNA on the body. Well, some of his DNA on the body, but not as much on the body as of other people. Uh, some I did, some not. So I wouldn't stand up in a million years. Oh. Kenny, come through for me. Give me his motive. What was Danny up to online? Uh, well, nothing to suggest an affair. Uh... Not password protected, no hidden email account, no private browser. So we've got nothing. Mm. Other than the fact his cab was sort of near where the bag was found. Not quite. Uh, you know you asked us to look into what she was up to uh, money-wise. Yeah, what? Well, she was researching a firm called Holt & Reed for life insurance, which struck me as odd. Well, it could just be being sensible. No. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, she wasn't the type, was she, according to Sadie? I mean, she had no dependents. She was living rent-free in her sister's flat. No, I think Kenny's right. I think that sounds dodgy. Jack. Mum, we've got a witness from the barbecue says she saw Danny. At Alan Byrne? Yes, a waitress. Well done, pet. She's found a waitress who remembers her. I'm really sorry I didn't come forward yesterday. Oh, that's not unusual. People don't always put two and two together. Actually, it's more that I... 
Didn't want to badmouth someone who'd just been... Uh, mm -mm. Was she murdered? But everyone's saying that, but I heard it was an accident. Ah, uh, no. She was murdered, love. So, what was your interaction? I had a run-in with her. Probably about an hour before she was found. What kind of run-in? I shouted at her and um, swore at her. Right. So, uh, what were the circumstances? I thought she was trying to get me to shut up. Why? I was doing the champagne at the barbecue and some guy put his hand on my backside. He was drunk, but I wasn't happy. Well, technically, that is a sexual assault. I know. It really hacked me off. That would. Obviously, it happens sometimes, but this guy was just laughing it off and I saw red. Anyway, I wanted him chucked out, and she... Her name's Danielle, right? That's right. Danielle tried to smooth things over, offered me a cab home, said she'd make up the wages. And you thought she was trying to shut you up? Yes. The way they spoke about it made me think I wasn't the first. Right, so you think she knew this fella? Can you give us a description? Yeah, of course. Oh, I could just show you him. This guy. He's got no previous convictions? No, and there's no intelligence. We also checked the sex offenders register. Nothing. Yeah, and Claire's law inquiries, but there's only really work stuff. He runs a training side of the business. Him and Danny did it together, instilling brand values. Brand values? Don't mention that upstairs. They'll want us to get some. <laughs> well, just arrest him on suspicion of sexual assault. Bring it round to the murder. Ah, oh, well, if I'm going to confront him, Keddy, I'll want him unprepared. Yeah, the way things are, he'd get wind of it. Yeah, they're all talking to each other online. The perils of social media, eh? Is there anyone on the inside we could approach? There's Megan at Varsis. When it be my turn. No, it's just a chat. Oh, it's just a background, love. Shall we? I find him disgusting, but hand on heart, some people find him funny. So, are you saying sexual assault is routine? See, I wouldn't call them assaults. It's just part and parcel work in here. You want your NVQ just put up. I mean, let's face it, he only does the training to hang around with a load of 19 year olds. Was Danielle aware of this? I don't know. She was big on the family showing a united front, but she did stick up for us behind closed doors as a rule. But not on this. No. But persistent harassment wasn't something that was discussed. Like I say, a lot of people think Ross is funny. I don't know. Maybe they paid some people off. They aren't shy of bugging the brown envelopes at the end of the week. So cash has been handed out? It was to silence complaints. Maybe. But then again, it could be nothing. They're always flinging perks at their favourites. Usually the youngest and dumbest. Just how it works. I want to defend myself. I still suggest you choose no comment. But they're in me in all sorts. Maybe we take a break. No, no breaks. I won't be marked down as a pervert. So you're denying the allegation of sexual assault of Marina Dinnick? Who? The waitress serving champagne at the barbecue. Of course I deny it. OK, so let's move on. Now, we've a witness who alleges you persistently sexually harassed junior members of staff at Vase's health and beauty business. No, never. I have a laugh at people. I've, I've never harassed anyone. Are you denying you sexually touched a number of women? I may have... I might have touched them. It's not sexual. It's... jokey. Ah, do they feel that way? Yes, OK, right. A few have not liked it. I, I understand that. Ah, and are these the ones who've been paid off? No, it's just never come to that. Look, I know I'm a fool and I should have known better. Hmm. It's, it's just a bit of fun. 
You don't understand. Lisa's a high-profile woman. It's, she's very busy. She doesn't have much downtime. Oh, what so you feel neglected? So that justifies it. Well, now I think I've heard everything. So let's get back to Marina Dinnock. The waitress? At the very one. Now, did you and Danny fall out at the party over your behaviour? We didn't fall out. She gave me a talking to. Oh, so why did you conceal this talking to when we first spoke? I would have thought that was obvious. So this talking to, did it result in a physical encounter or a fight? No. No, I, I wouldn't lay a finger on Danny. I risked my life to try and save her. The CPR. Mm. Is that why your DNA is on these areas of her body? Obviously, yeah. Obviously it is. It's not obvious to me, pet. It's not obvious at all. Are you looking for me? I I'm with the trustees. Are you not aware your husband's been taken into custody? What? Why did nobody call me? Are you going to release a body? They think it might be another week, but I'll go check. You'll have to forgive me. It's the only way I'm getting through. Would you? Oh, not on duty, Pat. So you're aware of these rumours about your husband's behaviour? Of course. What do you make of them? I assumed it was people trying to get money off us. <laughs> we have more than others. People want their slice. Turnover increases, spitefulness increases. So you think there's no truth to it? No. It's complete and utter rubbish. Were you aware of the allegation on the night? No, though it doesn't surprise me it's coming out now. Why not? People try it on when you're vulnerable. Normally it's water for ducks back, but... But Danny... I don't think I can take much more. <sighs> Look, is there anything more you can tell us about this set two between Danny and your husband? Anything at all? If there was anything, anything, I, I tell you. Only with a witness said Danny was concerned recently about a family issue. Oh, we think it's about your husband's behavior. He concealed the argument with Danny. He didn't conceal it. He didn't want to upset anyone by bringing it up. Ross loved Danny. Oh, why do you think he jumped in after her? Were you aware of your husband's movements for the duration of the party? Yeah, we were together. But you said you went looking for Danny on your own. OK, maybe for a few minutes. If he pushed her off a boat, I'd know about it. Believe me, nothing he does escapes my notice. <sighs> Burying her head in the sand. Sees it, but doesn't see it. Could be a bluff, or she could be involved herself. Yeah, maybe, but somehow I don't think so. <laughs> I'll never cease to be amazed the lengths some women go to to protect their men. <laughs> if I say maternal instinct, are you going to hit me? No, you could well be right. There ought to be some explanation for it, other than being completely stupid. She's not that. Oh, Mum, you need to call Jack. And uh, this was going cold on your desk. Oh, Kenny, you're a lifesaver. No corporate hospital, are you, then? No, I'm afraid not. Jack, you wanted me? Yeah. I don't think it was her online activity that was significant. It was what was on a hard drive. So what's on it? Looks like she was keeping some kind of record on payments to female employees. Yeah? How many? Can you have a look? Uh-huh. Can you go to the next page, please? 
Okay, so here's what Danny does. She does all her research behind closed doors and then presents it to Lisa. Okay, so obvious one is Ross clocked that she was gathering evidence to expose him to his wife. That was possible, isn't it? Might explain why that laptop ended up in the river. Now, let's go through this list of girls, divvy it up, and let's start ringing round. I'm not having much joy making contact with the employees. I mean, it's not clear that the details are kept up to date. We've got the addresses, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, well, call me old-fashioned, but can't we just turn up? We're looking for Amelia Garwood. She's just in there. Morning. This is DCI Stanhope. I'm DS Ely from Northumberland City Police. Can you confirm your name and postcode? Amelia Leone Garwood, NE17 4 Oh, you're definitely the right person. Not easy to track down. What's this about? Well, you'd have read about the lady we found dead on Quayside. Oh, Lasso was pushed off the boat. Ah, oh, that's the one. Awful. Mm. I don't know anything about it. Well, so no one at Varsis is talking about it. I don't know anyone at Varsis. But did you not work there? No. I applied, but they never gave me a job. So did you do the recruitment day? No. I just uploaded an application. Gave them all my contacts and references, but I didn't even get an interview. Which, to be honest, really upset me because the money and benefits package looked amazing. She barely even gives me a dinner break. So what was so amazing about the benefits package, love? Mum. Kenny, that life insurance company Danny checked out, something in Reed, was it? Hope in Reed, Mum. Aye, that's it. So what's the address? I want to pay him a visit. It's Mangrove House, Cogate. You're kidding me. I thought they were decorators. Now that's 67. We're looking for 67A, insurance company. Next one along, maybe? Insurance doesn't ring a bell. I'm pretty certain there was only one tenant and they were in property clearances. When they move out? A uh, couple of weeks ago. Definitely used by someone. A voice on the phone. Stop the post piling up. Left in a hurry. I'd say Holton Reed Insurance is nothing more than a logo and a website. And that's why Danny came looking. Now, don't be fooled by this. It's not a company. It's a setup for moving money around. Now, the question is, who set it up and why? Varsis themselves have done it to hide harassment payoffs. Yeah, well, maybe, but it's a pretty complicated way to go about it, isn't it? Now, 24 hours before she died, Danny was in a bar with her nearest and dearest, and she touched upon manipulation. She didn't elaborate, but maybe someone clocked it. Check it out. And then she goes here. Late at night. I reckon we should see more employees, not the big wigs. There's 200 of them. They get wind of it. Ah, well, if there are 200 employees, hmm? Why were there only 80 at well, that party? Maybe it was for the in crowd. Or maybe there are only 80 employees. Maybe the rest are just names on a payroll. Fake company, fake employees. I mean, it makes sense. Good way to siphon money. Pay people who don't exist or won't ask questions. Aye, look at the lass in baby wear. They take her ID, then reel her in with the promise of a job. And how many staff are there with life insurance they barely understand? Oh, you're right. Young women on short contracts won't necessarily know that they're being used. Aye, target the youngest and the most vulnerable. Good way to cook your books. Exactly. So what if this is not about sexual harassment at all? What if it's about good old-fashioned fraud? This is absolutely ridiculous. There's no I'll take this to the car. Yeah. This way, madam.
Watch your dad. First my husband and now me. I've never been to other officers. I've no idea. No, but you have authorised quite a few payments to them. Look at this. I'm not the only one who authorises payments. Hmm. That night when you said Danny was upset, was that because she confronted you about a fraud? And don't tell me it was about the booze running out. She was upset because Ross had got himself in trouble with a waitress. Ah, now, I know everyone's talking about that, but I don't think that's connected. I think they paid girls off and they covered it up. And I don't think that's true, actually. Not anymore. I mean, if that was the cover-up, why do all these women who've never even worked at Varses have a paper trail? Look, I know you're loyal, Paula, but a woman has died. You need to cooperate. Look, I don't want to get anyone into trouble. I mean, if this is something Lisa was up to, I don't want anything to do with it. How much has she authorised in the last seven days? Uh, there's a new starter who had a cash bonus. All oh, right. Let's make her fake employee of the month, shall we? <sighs> now, are there many more like that last from babywear? Oh, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of names. All earning just under 12 grand. Oh, I keep them on zero hours. Their tax, their problem. Yeah, I reckon someone's inflating invoices. I mean, look at this. Simon the Decorator. One man band repainted 15 shops in a week. Oh, should get me their mics, don't you? <laughs> oh, prices like those? Maybe not. Get Aiden to check out these contractors if they exist. Is this a tax dodge? Or is someone creaming off for themselves? Mom, where do you want Lisa? Uh, uh, put her in room one, let her stew. Uh, Jack, get yourself over to Paula's place, have a poke about. What? I'm on a charity with your superintendent. I could ring him and ask him why you're harassing me. Oh, right. Well, mention it's on suspicion of false accounting because he's got fraud targets. You make him very happy. If there was anything crooked, I'd know about it. Mm. So, are you aware of all monies going into and out of your account? Mm -hmm. Now, the refurbishment of Jesmond, how much was that? 50,000. 100. How much are you paying Megan Sibizi? I don't know if she's a team leader, so I'd say 23 grand. Try 46 into two different accounts. OK, so I'm not on top of everything. I leave a lot of it to Paula. I'd ask her. Do you think she's on the fiddle? I thought maybe she was going to sell the odd grand here and there. But you ignored it. Probably not rewarded her the way I should have over the years. She was slogging her goods out, profits were going up. I felt like maybe she earned it. spoke to this fella earlier. Do you recognise him? No. No, well, that's hardly surprising. Apparently, he'd had a few. <laughs> He's the bouncer at the Triptych Bar in the city. Night before Danny died, he put you into a taxi. Right. Well, that's kind of him. Said you'd been sitting on the pavement, bawling your eyes out with the deceased. Now, what was that all about? was we'd been having a lot of arguments about how to deal with the Ross situation. Yeah, uh, I don't believe you. 
I think this Ross business is convenient. Well, tell that to the women he's been harassing. You are defrauding vases. Covering inflated payments, opening bank accounts, using names taken from people looking for work. Well, that's an elaborate way to reward yourself, Paula. But Danny had clocked onto it. How do I know that? Because she left you in that bar and she went to check out the fake insurance company you'd set up. How much have you taken, Paula? What did Danny really find out? A bank account, Mum. Ah, wasn't she? But the one is in debt. Well, the thing is, uh, she's never been even overdrawn on her current account. What about credit cards? They can be a killer. Nope. Jack reckons there's nothing on her home to suggest spending sprees, luxury holidays or unexplained gifts. What? She's not even making a profit on it? Well, what there is is charges on some transactions. I thought it might have been foreign currency. But I looked into it. It's encrypted. Encrypted? <laughs> well, we thought this was a sophisticated fraud, Kenny, but that's another level, isn't it? So I've done a bit of digging. All these companies are registered at the same shell in the British Virgin Islands. <sighs> so there's no other trace of our paperwork. No. All services, nothing physical. Oh. oh. Well, I've got it. Paula's acting as a middleman for money laundering. No wonder the turnover went up. Someone must be putting money into vases, hmm? And she's having to justify the cash and then creating fake spending. So you were right. Organised criminals get their fingers in everywhere. Aye, don't they just? I got into debt. So I moved money into my account to cover the shortfall. And then to cover that, I started moving work funds and it just sort of snowballed. Yeah, well, that's all very touching, love. But you see, I know it's not you lying in your own pockets. See, I think you're doing all the donkey work, you know, like you do for Lisa, only for someone else. Now, who is the link, love, between you, a professional woman who works hard for a living, and them, those people with dirty money? from God knows what. Now, who is it? Not now! Mom. <sighs> there were some wine glasses at Paula's. They came up with a fingerprint match to another crime scene. Mr. Desai? Yeah? Oh, I'm DCI. Oh, you're yes. detectives? Aye, yes, we were investigating. Well, have you got him? Have you traced the fella? Uh, not yet. But there has been a development in your father's case. He was found here. Head injuries, bruising, splinters from the banister. They couldn't be sure, but they said maybe he tripped and then he had the heart attack. Well, they couldn't rule out a confrontation mm -hmm. and that he was pushed. Well, I'm sorry it's not been resolved, love. Um... I know everyone was doing their best, but to have no answers after this long. Just left for dead, though. That's pretty cruel. You know, they've got a fingerprint of the guy, a good one. A big thumb. Yeah, well... Just doesn't match anyone on the database. Look, I can't get your hopes up, love, but... I will say that strong evidence often gets results. <laughs> He'll slip up. That's what we're hoping for. Have you got any sense of why your dad was attacked? 
I've thought about it a lot. I mean, it could be just obviously some random burglary. Mm -hmm. But... I think Dad must have had some kind of gambling problem. So why do you think that? Well, I'd not got a sniff of it, and nor had anyone else, but... After he died, it became obvious that his finances were all over the place. Right. I think he must have dipped into the restaurant, you know, borrow back to cover losses. Thank you. Right. Well, according to the books, turnover went up rapidly, cash injections, and then a sudden drop off. So he was putting money through them what? Yeah, well, maybe Dad got cold feet, messed up somehow. Maybe you threatened to blow the whistle, I don't know. But this was payback. Himesh Desai, found dead a year ago. You come across him at all? <laughs> no. Well, whoever was with him at the time of his death was in your home within the last few days. I don't believe you. No? Well, I can show you fingerprint evidence, if that will help. Now, who was it? Who came round to yours? Hmm? Look, one of your oldest friends is dead. Yes, I know. Uh, but I, I genuinely, hand on heart, I've no idea how that happened. Look, I'm not going to charge you with murder if you tell me who came round. I mean, that's enough. Because if you don't tell me, pet, and you leave here, well, I think he came for Mr Desai. He came for Danny. Now, what's to say he's not going to come for you? We need to have a serious talk about Paula, love. Mm. Apart from you sisters, who else did she have in her life? No one. There's us and work. What, no relationships? None. Famously single. It was a bit of a running joke, if I'm honest. Was she resentful, this Mickey Taken? Maybe. Maybe it was there anyway. I mean, I knew she envied Lisa, but who doesn't? And I knew something had changed, but I didn't think she was doing anything dodgy. Not at all. Now, you said she changed. How? Um, she tried to sort of assert herself a bit more. But she went about it the wrong way. Like, classic example. She made up some fella she met at an investment seminar. Some loaded Romeo helping her manage her portfolio. Well, why would that be a lie? because it was too good to be true. To be fair, Danny said we should give her the benefit of the doubt, but she took it too far. Like, made out he was some George Clooney type. Treated her like a princess, house in Greece, the works. But he never turned up to anything we invited him to. Aiden, thanks, love. Give us a phone. What? I'm out of juice. I want to check something. What are you looking for? Sequence of events. Yeah, hmm? yeah. Yeah, sequence of events. Hmm? Danny gets on the boat. Hmm? Party, party, party. And they run out of booze. Now, what does Danny do next? Asks Kirsty. Who manages the boat? Now, what if that is not about a complaint? What if that's her making the final connection to the money laundering? Hmm? Look, who links both sides of the investigation? The money man with a shed load of businesses who's had a load of business put his way from Varses. Should be sunning himself in the med. Richard! Aye, the boat owner. Check back at the house. Come round the front. Hey, 
Anything? No, no sign of anything. Looking for your neighbour? He's just got in a car. What's, what's the smell? He's just got into a taxi. Shit. Right, you deal with it. I've got it. Do you know the company, mate? We know he has a holiday home. Where in Greece is it? I don't know. I don't believe you. But he didn't do anything. Well, then he'll be able to explain himself. Where in Greece is it? you made on the night she died. Now, who's saying what to who? Come on, Paula. Where in Greece is it? Yeah, I'm at the terminal now. 1745 Thessaloniki. Got you. Please, watch your backs! He called me to say he'd smooth things over with her, and he was as shocked as I was at what had happened. And you fell for that? I mean, how can an intelligent woman like you fall for that claptrap? It's not claptrap, because I just trust him. <sighs> He's made me twice the person I was before I met him. He loves me. Well, he made your party to a crime. I agree with the crime. I was just getting what I deserved for once. And did Danny get what she deserved? No, but he didn't push her off that boat. Ah, oh, you're right about that. He strangled her first and then dropped her into the water. He wasn't even there at the time it happened. He'd gone home. Ah, uh, so when do you think it happened? Midnight, around midnight. Wrong. But her body was at Keyside. Aye, because she got caught under the boat. What do you mean? I mean she got caught under the boat after he killed her at that hotel. I mean, that was bad luck for him, but it was worse luck for Danielle. <sighs> you gonna answer that? It's occupied. Oh, that's all right. I'll wait. We've nothing on you, have we, Richard? Well, I don't have criminal convictions, if that's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Must be useful, your line of work, no record. Must be very useful to your associates. No, I don't, don't have associates. I work on my own. Ah, right, you're the fellow who takes opportunities, aren't you? Well, we know quite a lot about those opportunities about how you've been laundering money through local businesses, Vasi's included, how you've charmed your girlfriend into being an accomplice, and all this hidden away offshore. It's ridiculous. 
I thought I was here for a murder case. Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, and we've evidence linking you to that as well. Now, this is a record of your mobile pinging masts on Grey Street and Allenburn Manor on Saturday night. So? What's that on about? Ain't that the truth? Because both of these places are connected to the victim on the night of her death which strongly suggests you were in the vicinity of her burgled flat and then in the vicinity of where she was killed. Well, suggests. It doesn't mean proof, does it? Oh, it also pinged a mast on Teesside, where her bag was found. Hey, you really went round the houses to cover your tracks, didn't you, Richard? This is all circumstantial. You know it is. Yeah, true. But it does build a picture. Mm. And it's enough for us to ask the question, why did you strangle Daniel Varsi? I didn't know her, so <laughs> why would I kill her? Well, one reason might be because she clocked onto your scam. See, all this is what she's uncovered about you. But what I don't get is this. I mean, even if she had exposed your fraud, I mean, fella like you, good brief, you'd have danced around that, you'd have got what? Three years, tops. Right, so now you're actually admitting that I don't have a motive? Nah. I'm saying this is your motive. You knew that any contact with us would flag up the unexplained death of restaurateur Himesh Desai, identifying you as the mystery person present at the time of his death. Did you know there was a dirty great fingerprint left at the scene? Hmm? So you're not as clever as you think you are. <laughs> so you could risk Danielle exposing the fraud, but you couldn't risk being connected to Mr. Desai's murder. Mm hmm? So just to be on the safe side, you took one of your opportunities and decided to silence her for good. Wow. <laughs> You are clutching at straws. Am I? You are uh, completely irrational. Whereas you are completely rational. You made a calculated decision to murder that lass to avoid being pulled in for his murder. And that's the truth of it, isn't it, Richard? That was your motive. Right, aren't I? Lost your tongue. <laughs> OK. You don't want to speak? We'll just push on with the formalities. Bye. Yeah, a quick sample should do it. Yeah, DNA for Danielle and her uh, fingerprints for Mr. Desai. You do this, you set me down, and I will come for you. And how are you going to do that? Hmm? And don't tell me you know people. I've been threatened by worse than you, pet. And if you think those types are going to help you, you're more stupid than you look. DCI, stand up. Leaving the room. Like that. She was walking into. I should have known. I knew there was a problem. If I'd have pushed it. Why didn't she come to us? Well, my best guess. She didn't want to ruin the night. I wouldn't have minded. I should not come and get me. Why go for him? She wanted to hear his side. Give him a chance to explain. Give Paula the benefit. Did Paula know? All this time, did she? When I was grieving, did she? 
I think not. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good news. Yeah. Okay, well, keep me posted and everything. Thank you. Ta da! What do you think? About Bye -bye. what? This. I don't know what I'm looking at. Perfect. <laughs> That last who Ross assaulted at the hotel. She's agreed to file a complaint. The CPS should have enough to prosecute him, then. Oh, I. God, that takes a lot of courage for her to do that. A lot of courage. I wish more people would do the same. Well, I think people are nowadays, aren't they? And thank God for it. It's a different story back in my day. Right, now don't let Kenny keep you out too late. <laughs> Vera continues next Sunday night at 8. And there's more brand new drama this week as Sam has to pull off her biggest scam yet. Sheridan Smith's back as all new Cleaning Up continues Wednesday at 9. And tomorrow night, letting loose at a festival and like us all, desperately trying to relive their youth. The Cold Feet Gang are back at 9. <laughs>